It gives us an immense pleasure as we proudly host the International Conference on Interface between Agriculture, Food, Chemical and Biological Sciences organized by Department of Food Science and Technology, University of Kashmir in collaboration with Association of Food Scientists and Technologists India. For the same, we have been joined by dignitaries of national and international repute. We are very grateful to all the eminent personalities who have joined us here at this conference for sparing the valuable time to be with us. Before commencing with the deliberations of the day, University Tarana will be played. I request you to maintain silence while Tarana is being played. the Department of Food Science and Technology, where we work and in fact we live. It started in 2008 by a DBT funded project to Professor Farooq Ahmad Masoodi, presently former head and presently Dean Academic Affairs University of Kashmir. But it was collective efforts. At that time, the Director Home Science was our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Nilofer. At that time, they conceived an idea let's start a department of separate department of food science and technology from where this all started so for an international audience since its inception we completed at least 10 projects worth 78.7 millions and then 21 ongoing projects that is 37.7 million and submitted five projects that's 50 million rupees University of Kashmir, as we all know that this is the oldest university and has been established in 1948. Uh, our all departments are doing a wonderful job and we are A plus accredited by NAC also. We at University of Kashmir try to extend our full support to all the departments including food science and technology. Uh, we have uh, established a few research centers at, you know, in university also and we in uh, under the guidance and under the leadership of our honorable vice chancellor professor nilo Khan, we try to uh, extend full support to the department as for any academic academic and research endeavors whichever is possible within our uh, resources i wish i welcome all and i wish you all the best for this international conference we had organized a meeting of DST, Project Assessment Committee, for the last, last week, where we actually assessed the submitted collaborative projects. Almost 40 projects were assessed, and in that assessment, we got the idea that what the collaborative project themes can be, and what can be the net outcome of that. And in that meeting, Professor Taratam, ex vice chancellor, was the chairperson, and other participants from DST, online and offline, in turn gave us newer concepts that it is not necessary to submit individual projects or one theme project. They highlighted that multidisciplinary projects where we can, as the theme of the, the seminar is, to see what can be collaborative role in assessing what the sources are and what can be collaborative role in trying to communicate as well as share our knowledge with other institutions and other countries or other states. So that once we share that knowledge, it will help us to develop collaborative themes which will uplift the resource utilization concepts. In these uh, seminars, in these collaborative organizations where we discuss such activities, they give us ideas or themes that individually we cannot achieve the goals. I, as was told in, from science, uh, biological sciences, botany is my main subject. But out of the 12 projects I have handled, only one was individual. 11 projects were collaborative projects. And majority of that, not within the state, within the union territory, but across Himalayas. And some of the partners were from East India, some from Central India, some from the South India were partners of the projects. That helped me to collaborate in terms of whatever information I have, whatever information they have, and how, on the basis of sharing of our knowledge, we can educate our progenies, our students, our scholars, to develop newer themes which will help us to achieve the goals. 
the theme of this conference that's interface between food agricultural biological and chemical sciences we have seen if we see the very basic definition of interface it's just a place where two systems where two organizations meet this is known as interface or to elaborate it little bit if we see in physical sciences in a system the materials the molecules which are in the interior of that system they may behave differently than that if they are at the interface because they get the ability they get the opportunity to see what's outside that system so studying the interface very critically it offers so many advantages it offers so many observations which enhance our wisdom which enrich us seeing things from this interface or studying this interface it facilitates us to extrapolate our academic and intellectual output from our own system we will take it out first to the interface and then it has the opportunity people working in the other dom no, uh, those domains they can just take it into their own systems then utilize it if we remain within the system probably our research or intellectual output it will remain within that system so studying these interfaces or in let me put it in other words this refers to joining hands with others who are doing probably a different type of work but they can see where your output can be utilized and reversely or conversely you can see where you are in a position to utilize their research output so going outside your domain critically analyzing what others do that's very essential otherwise if we just work in our own system it refers or it tend to amounts to producing a product which is unsought you are unable to market your product once you critically analyze these interfaces what others are doing in what way you can utilize their research output and how you can offer your research output to others so this is the basic objective of studying critically analyzing these these interfaces we take pride in all your contributions at afst which is having a strong 4000 uh, members food scientists food technologists food engineering uh, all the discipline connected with the food uh, we uh, encourage our young researchers students to take up the interaction through various conferences and also encourage them by offering fellowships and uh, i would request uh, most the uh, young scientist to please connect with website of afsti and get advantage of various fellowships and encouragements we have valued publications jfst and ifi which also helps you in uh, building the knowledge and connectivity what a important aspect uh, as uh, masudi sahab mentioned about the interface of agriculture food chemical biological sciences and we have experts in all those areas as very rightly mentioned by uh, doctor and also professor uh, khan about the importance of interface uh, because what happen most of the time we work in our specific domain for long time maybe 30 years 20 years 40 years and then we built on expertise but this is the time now we have to spread our wings come out from the narrow domain of our expertise and connect it with other stakeholders probably to increase the visibility of our knowledge and application of those knowledge there are so many other aspects where we actually need the interaction most important i can just name some of them uh, one which we feel uh, which is greatly required now 
are the sensors because we have lot of commodity ag agricultural com commodity most of the time they need to have the quality control either on the field or in the company industry or at the uh, some kind of ports and other things unless until we have the rapid devices hand hold devices which can immediately tell us about the quality and safety of the product otherwise this product has to go to lab and then it takes about 10 days 5 days time so we need some kind of rapid kits rapid tools which will immediately tell us about the safety so when we talk about the sensor obviously it cannot be done by the scientist food scientist we need interaction from probably electronics we need somebody from other fields also so that the expertise of all domain can be synergized and we can have the effective tool i am sure that this present 3 uh, day seminar will be a great learning experience Uh, not only uh, for food science uh, students from our university but from the other universities also uh, i can see uh, different audience from other universities from other states and i said as internationally we must congratulate uh, dr adil and his team who have uh, thought of organizing and worked so hard for this 3 day international uh, workshop because i know it takes time it takes energy it takes skill to organize such uh, conferences of this international repute uh, we are very fortunate uh, i have seen how the uh, department of food science and technology has grown under the leadership of our dean academic affairs professor masoodi uh, who is uh, really a hard task master and i have seen how he has groomed his faculty of food science and technology and uh, we can see today uh, how much our department of food science and technology has moved forward we have a lot of expectation from this department because i know uh, Uh, they have a uh, very good scientists with them whether it's dr idris dr sabira or dr adil all of them work very hard and others have also uh, joined uh, joined the department i'm happy at grassroots level they have thought of some uh, innovation about uh, you know how to uh, make kaladi uh, kaladi making machine which i'm sure will be beneficial in a large scale uh, and uh, a very good innovative uh, machine which you have made which can be utilized even by our illiterate women it's a great compliment to the department i'm sure that this innovation you will move forward so that it's uh, recognized uh, and uh, the department is uh, acknowledged uh, for that